15, 150 meters in front of them. Hood's on Polygon Shopping. Hood comes off and they sent on their journey. Sacred Ibis jumped very awkwardly, went to the inside rail, but is last for the time being, with Sea Bencher second to last and twice to Sydney third from the back. Mrs. Hotline hit the turf running going towards the 1700 and Mrs. Hotline has the lead. Has the lead by a half from Crimea in second. Polygon Shopping's in the open in the White Silks and you get the feeling Polygon Shopping's going to move on by at the 1500 and that is so. Polygon Shopping now hard held a length and a half. Mrs. Hotline also hot against the steel. Crimea's in third. Then Skyfire, Connect Me, Isla Mirada, Silver Magic, Slevenora, Sa Sacred Ibis. Towards the back end of the field is Sea Venture with twice to Sydney, and I'd say 10 lengths from top to tail. Polygon Shopping, revved up in front by a length and a quarter into the turn by length and a half. Mrs. Hotline's at the panels back in that second position as they go down to the 900 metre zone. On the outside is Crimea now poking ahead into second. Connect Me is in fourth, Skyfire fifth, Silver Magic is sixth, Isla Mirada seventh. Slevenor is in 8th, ninth position Sacred Ibis, Sea Adventure is in 10th position and towards the back end of the field is twice to Sydney. Polygon Shopping rounding the turn with just on 600 metres to go. Crimea now moves in for the attack. Connect Me comes out, Mrs Hotline goes to the inside, Isla Mirada. Silver Magic towards the centre starting to make progress. At the 400 metre marker, on the outside Crimea, Mrs Hotline, Silver Magic. Magic, Slevenora, Isla Mirada, Mrs. Hotline, Silver Magic's running a big race between them, Mrs. Hotline towards the inside, Silver Magic, trying to close in Sacred Ibis and behind runners twice to Sydney's come from absolutely nowhere, the white cap, Silver Magic needs the line and will just find it, from twice to Sydney, Mrs. Hotline, Sacred Ibis, Isla Mirada, Slevenora, further back in the running, Connect Me, Polygon Shopping. So a huge victory for number three, Silver Magic. And I say a huge victory because she's been so consistent. And this will be her first taste of victory on the turf. All her wins have been on the poly. So well done to Maritz Fintin, the Slacks, Ragunins. Ascot Stud, the Breeders, and Silver Magic, the Master of My Fate, Dean Canemayer, Keegan DeMello turning the corner and gets her first taste of success on the turf. The other two wins have been on the poly from in second spot, twice to Sydney from last. Then Mrs. Hotline, Sacred Ibis, Isla Mirada, Sleba Nora. The numbers that you're going to need for the fifth race at Hollywood Bets Scottsville are 3, 8, 1, and 11. It's gone the way of Silver Magic, the master of my fate, Philly. But before we go any further, let's acknowledge Ayanda, the gentleman that looks after this uh, Philly. Well done to you, Ayanda. You take home a 1,000 Rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Enjoy the reward. Enjoy the money. Well done. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Let's get Nicolette into the, air, into the winner's area. As we heard Sheldon say upstairs, she... Uh, it's just been so wonderful for the connections because she's always there and thereabouts. She always gives of her best, and it's just lovely to see her in the winner's enclosure today. She deserved it. Yeah, no, she's been knocking on the door. I mean, her last seven runs, she hasn't been out the money. She's always had one or two little excuses where she's been a bit too far, far back. But she's a filly. You can't, even when she's drawn well, you can't place her up there because she doesn't seem to run on. So you've got to give her a bit of the chance, and then she kind of loses it, like, in between the race between the 400 and the 200 so yeah she's a tricky filly but she's been competitive and it's nice for the owners they're having great fun with her and i can't ask you about the rest of your runners maybe about your runners on wednesday but certainly not today <laughs> you're done and dusted well done nicolette all our best to dean uh, uh, the whole team at maritz fontein and of course to mr Rugnan. well done yeah no well done to the owners and to dean and a great ride from keegan i mean i can't take it away when gareth rode her last time she just got beat last time. Uh, he didn't really know the filly. He came from quite far back, and she kind of just lost it between the 400 and the 200. But she can't take anything away from him. But Keegan and the road were very fantastic today. Well, well done. done. Spot on, Nicolette. Let's get Keegan in, and let's sort out Mark so you can be comfortable. There we go. Wonderful riding in those colours, the black and yellow of Maritz Fontaine, and they've got, of course, uh, in partnership with Mr. Ruggenen. Well done. She's a, what's she like at home, this, this filly, to, to work with? And, uh, because her form is so genuine. 
Oh, she's an absolute gem, you know, you get on her at work and uh, she just gives you everything every time you sit on her and uh, a nice honest filly and uh, it's the type of fillies you enjoy having in the yard because you always know they're going to produce their best when they, when they can. Yep. You've ridden her now 14 times, Keegan, for three wins and multiple places. So just wonderful because uh, you see a bread and butter horse and she's won well today. Rest of your card, uh, Nicolette's finished, but you certainly not. What are you expecting? Yeah, look, I think um, I've got two for, for Uncle Rob. I've got um, Seamaster. He, he, he looks to have promising form earlier on. Uh, he does have a bad draw, which is not in his favour, so I, I think tactics might have to change today. And I feel like fly, fly me free in the last. Also drawn a bit wide, blinkers off. So we're just going in there with, with, with chances. But like back to this filly, like you said, I think um, Nicolette's alluded to everything. Uh, she's not the easiest of rides in a race because you can't be too handy and it's also difficult to come from too far back. So... Things got to go her way, and I'm just really grateful it did today. So just well done to everyone at Maritz Fentin and their team. And uh, yeah, just big thank you to Mr. Kanamea for the opportunity, and uh, well done to them for yesterday as well. Just shows you with uh, a filly like this, you, you say it's a difficult ride, as you know, that you've built up such a relationship with her. So you know exactly, you know, when she's going to drop it, when she's not going to do, uh, and, and sort of not to panic. So that certainly does help. Yeah, sure. Look, and I'm never under pressure when I ride her, so it's also a bonus. So yeah, like I said, just full credit to the whole team, and uh, thank you very much for the opportunities once again. Well, well done. done. Thank you. Spot on. Silver Magic. Recorded now her third win from as little as 17 starts. Well done to you, Jess. Well done, uh, Stevie. And, uh, of course, Mr. Rugnan and the whole team at Baritz Fontaine. This uh, filly's won you a good race today. Oh, so consistent. 3 8 1 in 11. Race 5 is gone. Race 6 is near. Thankfully, there's a bit of a breeze to cool us down. See you just now. Yeah.